morning everyone happy Monday and you know what that means today is the day that I show you the projects that I have finished or started or worked on in the past week and any new items that I have acquired in the past week but first before I get started I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers I've noticed there have been several of you thank you for joining us uh, it's a little chilly this morning since winter time this morning I have myself a cup of hot cocoa. I know, just a few days early, but it's almost Thanksgiving, so I, I feel that this cup is okay. Because it's hot chocolate, and I made it a deluxe hot chocolate, as we call it at our other business, Cosmic Castle. Um, I added, I bought this at the grocery store, some salted caramel syrup to my hot chocolate. Oh my word, it is so good. The only thing that it is missing now is the whipped cream and the drizzled caramel sauce on top that is so amazing we're going to start serving those over there so i'm really looking forward to that but anyway got my hot cocoa welcome to my new subscribers again and let's get started with first off before i get started with showing you what i have acquired in the past week i want to show you something my new bamboo hooks that i have gotten i was using this this week and right here I don't know if you can see that but it splintered on me while I was using it now this is the first problem that I've had with these hooks I've used them quite a bit I pretty much used them on every project that I had been working on here recently and this is the the first problem that I've had with them it wasn't any big deal it was just a small splinter that came off and it you know hasn't done anything since but I just want to point that out where to go Right there just want to point that out you know this is something that did happen to those hooks that I got got off of eBay I think it was about a month or so back I did a video on them so if you want to go back and look for that you can um next thing I got was my mom brought me some more yarn I love you mommy anyway this is some a mix of brown and white that she had left over from a project that she was doing and she also brought me a couple of bigger skeins. I like these. They're variegated. But this one is a blue and gray mix. This is a really large skein. She said she made a couple of hats out of this. But when I measured, when I weighed these to see approximately how much yarn there was still in them, they're still like five ounces. So I'm going to get several projects out of this. And the other skein of yarn that she brought me this week, which she said she made a hat out of, or a couple of hats out of, and same thing I weighed it and I've got like five or six ounces of yarn left this is like blues and purples and yellows greens I really like this I can make some really cool projects out of this too and I'm gonna set these over here out of my way the other thing that I got this week um, I asked on my crochet group if anybody had any knitting looms that I could borrow and a friend of mine said, well, I was given some and I can't figure out how to use them or, you know, whatever. So she brought them to me. Now, we had to do a little bit of work on them because some of the pegs had broken off, which isn't a big deal. Um, but I do have enough pegs that I that are loose. We also had to glue a couple of pegs in and there are some pegs that are already glued in from the person that she got them from. But that's not a big deal because of the loose pegs, I do have enough pegs that I can do either the small or the large loom. I haven't a clue what I'm doing with them yet. But anyway, this is the small one. This would be the one that would be for a hat. I've already confirmed with another friend that has these and was helping me a little bit last night with them. That this is the one that I would probably use for a stocking hat. And the other one that I have, like I said, that's not full of pegs. But this is a larger one, the next size up from the orange one that I have. And if you notice, they've done, I mean, we'll have to do something if I decide to use this to fill that in a little bit so a peg will stay in that hole. But, I I mean, that's there's enough pegs there to fill up half of that. So, I mean, I've been playing with this one a little bit this morning. You know, it kind of reminds me of finger knitting. Now, I want to show you on this first one right here this is one that the hole was wallered out in so I it should be almost dry and ready to use it's still a little sticky but we use some Gorilla Glue 
to keep that peg in there permanently. And there are a few other pegs that on this smaller one that have been glued in because either the hole was wallowed out or for whatever reason, that's fine. I'm thankful because this was given to me. I'm thankful it'll give me a chance to try something new. But I wanna show you a couple of these we had to drill out this morning. And instead of using a normal size drill, what we used was a little thumb drill is what we call it. Um, I will insert that clip here and let you watch how we did this. Maybe it'll be useful for some of the rest of you if you have something like this that needs to have some plastic drilled out of it. So enjoy this little clip and I will be back right after the clip to show you the few projects that I have finished and started in the past week. Hey everybody, a friend of mine gave me some, a couple of knitting looms and We've already taken care of this one, but the bigger one here, we've also had a couple of them where the peg had been broken off in the hole. Um, what we have done is they had used and looked like a drill bit and drilled a hole, and some of the holes are wallered, and some of the, like this one here, they've actually glued the peg in because the hole was bigger than what it originally was. But we had one of these little hand drills that came with some um, ink, refill, ink kit. refill kits that we had. So what my husband has done is he has drilled into the center of this little peg and he's going to take it out. Which this will keep the hole from being wallered or you know becoming larger in any way. Also, All you need is uh, probably just about any screw will work. But um, something like a construction screw like this works really good. And you just start it in the hole. Make sure it's in there, you know, pretty, pretty good. Take you a pair of like needle nose pliers. Grip the shaft like that near the bottom. Use your, uh, use this end of the pliers as leverage and just pop it out. Through that hole doesn't look any different and that peg there it is, is stuck to the end of the screw so that's how we have solved the problem and I don't have enough pegs to go around because of the ones that have been broken off but I think what I'm gonna do is find some dowel rods that will fit so that I will have pegs so that I can use either one of the new knitting looms that my friend gave me the first project that I made this past week if I, I believe I showed you the octopus last week and I said I was giving them to my sister for the students on her bus because she's a bus car. Um, I made this little kitty cat finger puppet. I used yarn to make the little whiskers on him. He does still need eyes. Hopefully tonight I can get some wiggly eyes when we go into the bigger town. But isn't he just adorable? I could also probably use the same exact pattern with a little bit different color. Make the tail a little bit longer and make a monkey. She's asked for a monkey, so my, my brain is kind of working on how to get that monkey made for her. The other thing that I did this past week, and I'm sure you won't be shocked because I've already made two, but I made another hanging basket. This yarn is like really funky weird. These This is one of those yarns that you just really don't know what to do with because the color changes are so sporadic and I noticed while I was going along with this sometimes the color change isn't even big enough to accommodate a single crochet stitch so I don't know not everything looks good with this yarn I know like I think it was last week if it wasn't last week it was the week before I made an ear warmer out of this yarn with the Tunisian knit stitch I thought that looked all right but some things I've tried with this just does not look good with the sporadic color changes in this. Now this, something that I did with this one here also, I completely didn't follow the instructions, but pretty much. But I did my stitches in the back loops, so all of my bowls have like the rib stitch going on here. And I'm not sure what happened, I, I got distracted and didn't really follow the directions very well but these the first two bowls seem to be about the same size this one's just a little bit smaller but they're enough of the same size that they really don't nest very well 
And this top one is like inky dinky. I don't know. He'd, he'd be a good place for the kitty cat to hide. So, but anyway, the kitty cat's not staying with me. But anyway, I made another one of these baskets. I don't have a place to hang. Oh, wait. Maybe I could hang it right here. I'll hang it right there with my heart. But I think I'm going to try and sell these on buy sell trade groups maybe for Christmas or maybe in my shop smell the good stuffs might make a good Christmas present for somebody and I might give them as gifts myself I don't know and the other thing I am very proud and excited about this next project um, as you know I keep saying I want to learn to knit I want to learn to knit well you won't believe what I accomplished now this took me like this is like a three or four day project and it's it's a lot of work for me believe me but I started the stocking cap I started at the bottom up I I've I do have a few problems right here where Pearl and I kind of got into a little fight got my stitches mixed up but that's okay it's okay it's a beginner project first time I have ever accomplished anything knit actually with knitting needles this far up now I I I actually managed to do a few color changes in here so I plan on doing a few more I think the hat is about halfway I think I've got about five or six inches here I measured it and from what I'm reading I need to go about 10 inches to make a hat and the way this hat's gonna go I'm just gonna knit it all the way up and the instructions that I found I on the YouTube video that I was watching you just knit it all the way up just open as it is and then you take your yarn and you close it up so very simple beginner hat three four days worth of work for me I know a lot of distractions we were kind of busy this past week but I am excited about that I'm looking forward to finishing that I was hoping to have it finished by today so that I could show you a completed hat but our weekend was kind of sporadically busy to where I didn't have a lot of chance to sit down and actually work on that so that's what I have for today um, not a whole lot but like I said it's the busy time of year I'm wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving if I don't get back back here before then uh, just gonna be simple for us just my husband myself and our two boys are going to have a late lunch early supper together on Thanksgiving Day that way it gives us a chance to sleep in for a change, which we hardly ever get to do. So, thank you everybody for watching. Leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And watch for another video coming hopefully soon.